What's up, people? It's time for some more Dragon Ball Fighter Vi reviews. This is going to be from SoCal Regional, so it just happened last weekend, I believe. This match is, uh, I think it's Super Noon versus Sonic Fox, I want to say. Super Noon, one of the last of the Kid Boos, running the Kid Boo Cells, uh, Old Shell with Vegeta, and then you got Sonic Fox running a new team, Bardock Nappa, and Android 16. So, I haven't seen any of these matches at all. I haven't seen uh, Sonic play his new team in the tournament at all. I've seen Super Noon play a couple of times recently, and I have enjoyed the way Super Noon has been playing. So, let's see how this goes. Um, yeah, this is going to be weird, though, because I can't find these matches separated. I can only find this huge clump of gameplay, so it's going to probably be hard to rewind things and whatnot, but let's go. I saw Reynolds eating pizza in the crowd, you know, he is in that, uh, you know, as well. You know. Oh, wait, alright, let's meet this, these, uh, commentators. I love Renge and Say Jam, but I'm not trying to hear Renge and Say Jam, I'm just trying to see some Dragon Ball. And then, that is free pressure. Ooh. Alrighty. So. Sonic Fox uses his assist and already gets a conversion off of his first two assist uses. So, everyone back a little bit too far. Let's stick with it, though. So I believe Sonic Fox starts off with an IED medium. And then... IED medium. And then we got the Super Dash, Reflect. And he reflects immediately into Lariat. And then, uh, Nap Assist. Now, interesting thing about this, though. If this hits, then this is a free conversion. If he blocks it, then this is free pressure. So once he super dashes and takes that reflect, then he just immediately just has to take whatever pressure comes after this. Nice reflect into 5M. Zoning, but I that has a, have the easiest time getting in now, and that's the free conversion. Is this? Wow, this is death. Huh. I wonder why he started off. He tried to start off with the auto combo. And you gotta eat all of this pressure from. He doesn't have any more assist, actually, so he doesn't have to eat all of that pressure. He couldn't set anything up. Nice Dragon Rush. Yeah, Nap is just so awkward. I don't wanna play this character at all. Meaty Assist. And it's 16, so you're going to be blocking. That's a lot of blocks done. Wow, he tried to just put down some Cyberman real quick. Oh, he got the Cyberman out. Ooh, nice DP. See, it's decisions like that that you're going to have to commit to when you fight against Snapper, though. You can't second guess yourself at all. You just got to make the decisions to get out of the disadvantage and do it fast. Because you don't want to be blocking too long. Because if, you, you, if you start blocking Snapper, you're going to be blocking forever. Ooh, he get that the hook. That's a hook combo. And then spark. the heck happened there? Oh, 
Wow, he caught his landing. He didn't have any more resources. So because of that, Sonic Fox is either going to have to land and press buttons or land and block. And I guess, I don't know. Is he just bet on Sonic Fox landing and blocking? So throw out a Dragon Rush. Because I believe he already expended his double jump. Slide switch. Level 3. Double jump. Super. Oh, nah. I thought he'd double jump and then uh, super dash for that beast DP. And then all Sonic Fox has to do is make Super Noon hang himself just like that. Caught the bag dash with super dash. Wow. What exactly just happened? There. I'm tired. I haven't slept in a while. So. So you didn't have super dash to chase. Ah, he jumped over a 5H. Why do you throw an H? He just got. Booped. Let's jab again out of the corner with that level one. Bring in Nappa. Nappa only has one assist to work with, though, for right now. And from what I know about Nappa, nice break. From what I know about Nappa, what the heck? He doesn't have the greatest neutral. Once he gets you in a corner, once if he can win disadvantage and get you in a corner, then it'll be hard. He needs pretty good neutral assist to make things happen. But for the most part, it's not the easiest thing for Nappa to just get in on you. I believe, anyway. I don't know if he has a chance to tech out of that. That was super interesting, though, how this happened. So he gets... He reflects the auto combo instead of just waiting for to punish 2M. He tries to side switch for whatever reason. Nice 2H. And then Super Noon has a health advantage. Sonic Fox has a bar advantage. Sonic Fox really has to pick his time to go in. He only has one chance at a lit. Ooh, and he misses the assist after the Lariat because that was in the air. He got hit by the Lariat. See, I guess... Because it's not the easiest thing for ever for Bardock to get in. So if you get a chance to just level 3 someone on reaction to a Dragon Rush and get the mix-up on them, then it's a good opportunity that you just have to take. And then he wants to keep Bardock in. A Lariat into 16 assists is still super strong. Sonic Fox kind of overextended after that. He missed Lariat into 16 assists. He could have just, ooh, nice catching the up tech. And 
A switch might be coming soon. I don't know when exactly. Wow, nice DP. See, Sonic Fox didn't really have a chance to switch because it would, no matter what, been a, would have been a telegraph switch for Vegeta to either 2H or DP. But he does a good job of forcing out the spark in here. 16 will not die, but he'll probably use sparking here because he will have sparking advantage. Well. Ooh, and here comes the... Oh, uh, he messes up the loops. Uh, he messes up the hook. Nice 2H. Wow. And he won't mess up the loops this time. Level 3. Well, he blocked this mix-up. That lingering jump light from 16 is super annoying to deal with. Ooh. Good job from Sonic Fox being super noon. That was a pretty fast set. Super noon played pretty well, but I don't even know exactly what the problem was thinking back on it. Probably because I'm tired and I can't really remember what happened in the set 100%. But it seemed like Sonic Fox is one neutral a lot most of the time. And he. Every time he touched Super Noon, he just made Super Noon pay for it very heavily. So. Yeah, Sonic Fox did a good job. That's it for this VOD review video, though. Hopefully, you guys like it. If you did, Please make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video. It's Kingdom 7 signing off. Peace.